Hi folks, my name is Mike. I'm with I-80 Equipment. Today I've got a 2011 Dodge 5500 bucket truck. It's equipped with an Altec AT40M. I'm going to show you that boom and all of its features. First thing you want to do is hop up in the cab, roll the ignition forward. Once the ignition goes forward, go ahead and start it up. You want to start by turning your lights on. Parking brake must be set in order for the PTO to work. Come over to the center console, turn your hazards on. Down below, PTO, strobes, compartment lights, deck lights, work lights if necessary. You hear the engine rev up a little bit. Now we're engaged. The vehicle has two outriggers. Located in the front, levers for that are here. Start, stop, DC pump, press up and hold. Chuck will shut off. Once it does, continue to hold. DC pump will engage. Release, press again. Outriggers passenger side, same thing, start, stop here. And selector, down for outriggers, up for boom. At this time, we'll go ahead and drop your outriggers. Ground. Change your selector to up, which takes it to the boom. If you do not do that, you will not have hydraulic pressure to the boom and it will not operate for you. Start, stop, press and hold. After the truck shuts down, DC pump will engage. After the DC pump engages and you're done using it, release. Wait a few seconds and then restart the truck by pressing and holding. Labels clearly marked. Upper lower controls, winch pay in, pay out, upper boom, extend and retract, lower boom, which is the upper boom, raise and lower, the arm, raise and lower, and rotation clockwise, counterclockwise. Been certified and dielectric tested by I-80 equipment. Both of those certifications are good for one year. Get the bucket here. Left to right, we have platform tilt, platform rotation right here, emergency stop, start stop plunger, press and hold, truck will shut down. Continue to hold for DC pump, release, press again. Standard Dull Textile controller, trigger underneath, make sure you pull that up, lift to raise, Press down to lower. Extension retraction, lower boom, rotation. So once again, lift up to raise the boom, press down to lower the boom. Extension, retraction of the lower upper boom. Lifting and lowering, twist the handle, push and pull the handle for clockwise, counterclockwise rotation. Tool hookups here. Pay in, pay out. Hard to read in the dark here, folks. Lower arm, here, raise and lower. Upper arm, raise and lower. And then your tool circuit on and off. But this time I will run your boom, show you that everything works.
Selector, back to outriggers, and then we can raise your outriggers. Make sure we're all the way back up. Once they're back up, when you're finished the job, we can shut it back down. And go home. PTO, strobes. Deck lights, work lights, turn the comp lights on so you can see those. Turn your lights back off. If you want to leave them on auto, feel free. Turn your hazards off. Always remember your parking brake is set. Release that so you don't do damage to the parking brake and or the, the system itself. Then we shut the vehicle back down. Wireless backup camera as per request. DOT been done by IED equipment. Try to get the camera out of the light there. Driver side steer. Engine compartment. Kind of dark on this side, folks. I do apologize. Try to get the best lighting I can. Driver side steer. Tops of the bed, sides of the bed boxes, tops of the boxes, the pestle itself, all been spray on bed lines as you can see. Wonderful texture. The rest of the compartments. First compartment, got your inverter on top, bucket cover, wheel chocks, fire extinguisher, and some triangles. Thank you for choosing I-80 equipment. Enjoy your vehicle.